Hello, oh, doers. It's Jose Ignacio again, and today we're going to be talking about a few new things. Now, here at Stealthywood, we get tons of business opportunities, and it's hard to know which ones to prioritize. We're a very busy company. Now, we'd like to focus our attention on the leads that are most likely to result in sales. And lucky for us, Odoo gives us the perfect tool to do just that. Now, in each opportunity, Odoo calculates your company's probability of winning the opportunity using an innovative machine learning model called predictive lead scoring. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, Jose, what is predictive lead scoring? Well, predictive lead scoring uses historical data from your CRM to accurately and automatically score all of your open leads or opportunities. Now, why would you want this? Well, for a couple reasons. Manual lead scoring can be inconsistent. It can be inaccurate because we're all human. And it is also very time consuming. And here we strive to save you time. Now with predictive lead scoring, your salespeople can focus on closing deals rather than ranking or prioritizing leads. So knowing the probability of success for every opportunity is going to give you tons of advantages. Now it helps us identify the most qualified leads so that we can focus our sales and marketing efforts on the customers who are most likely to close deals with us and bring the most value to our company. Now, this results in an increased number of qualified leads, wins, and revenue. And why? Because we sometimes refer to a lead score as its success rate, which is the probability of success for this opportunity. Now, the success rate is calculated based on the successes and failures, or wins and losses, if you remember, now of the related opportunities in your CRM. So Odoo takes into account any of these key variables when calculating the success rate. Team and stage are mandatory fields as well, meaning they always are taken into account. From the rest of the list, you can choose which ones are relevant to your company. Now, for example, an opportunity from Belgium that is handled by the European sales team is marked as one. Then the success rate of other opportunities from Belgium that are also assigned to the Europe sales team will increase as well. Now, enough about all this. Let's jump into Odoo to see this exciting feature in action. So here we are on the Odoo dashboard. Now first, let's configure predictive lead scoring to take into account the variables that are important to us. We're going to do this by going into our CRM app. We're going to select configuration and we're going to go into settings. Now, once that this loads, as you can see, here's our predictive lead scoring setting. We can see that it says our success rate is currently being computed based on stage and email quality. However, when we click on the update probabilities button here, we can see that only the option for email quality is selected. Now, this is because the variables stage and team are always in effect no matter what. And if we click over here on the extra fields drop down, you can also add as many of these optional fields as you want. And Odoo will account for all of them at once in a methodical way. But let's say that the only other variable our company cares about is country. So we're going to select country from this drop down. And we're also going to go back and delete email quality. Now for this demonstration, I'll set it to only consider leads created as of today. But you can decide what date you want your predictive lead scoring to start its calculations from. Now, consider any of these leads from today's date. Now, when we confirm this, it's automatically safe. We don't need to click save in our settings in this case. So once we're all done, we're all wrapped up here. Now that we just finished saving all our settings, we're going to use a very simple scenario to demonstrate how predictive lead scoring works. We'll create some opportunities based on two variables, sales team and country. And we're going to use this to see how the success rate changes based on our wins and our losses. So we're going to go back over here to our CRM dashboard. And here we are and we see everything. As you can see, we don't actually have any opportunities in the pipeline. So let's create one. We're going to do so by clicking on our create button. And we got to give this a name. We're going to go with opportunity one. Very generic. Now let's say this opportunity though is from Belgium. So in that case, I'll assign it to my Europe sales team. And you can do this by selecting the sales team, Europe. And we're going to go over to the extra information tab. And we're going to label this as the country Belgium. Now, at the top, we can see that the probability of success or the success rate is at 0%. And this is because our predictive lead scoring does not yet have any historical data to draw from. It can't just make it up. 
Now once we mark this opportunity as one, however, by hitting the save and clicking one, it goes from zero to 100% because we're that good. Now if we create another opportunity also assigned to the Europe sales team and say it's from Belgium, we can see that the probability is much higher than zero because Odoo recognizes that based on these variables, there's a higher chance of winning this deal. And let me just show you that real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and hit create again. And we're gonna do the same exact thing, opportunity two this time. Belgium and the country, everything is set. And there you have it. Once we select one, it's higher. Now, if we create another one with the same variables, in this case, create, and we're gonna label this one opportunity three then the probability is even higher than before because we mark the last opportunity as one as well. Now, if we keep doing this, the probabilities will keep getting closer to 100%. Now, but as soon as I mark anything as lost, such as we see here now, lost, and we create another one with the same variables, we can see that the success rate or the probability of winning an opportunity with these variables has decreased. And this happens once we create our last one, opportunity four, and it is lost. Now it can also be changed, or sorry, it can also change based on the opportunity and the stage that it's in. So if we, for say, for instance, go and click qualified afterwards, we could see something changes. So the more opportunities you send through the CRM pipeline, the more data Odoo collects on your wins and losses, and the more accurate the probabilities become. Isn't that cool? Now, if for some reason you want to change a probability manually, you can also do so by going over here and clicking on the edit, change probability to 20 and save. However, you'll lose the automatic updates on this opportunity, so it won't update as you move it through the stages, as you can see over here. And this is just because it's been set to manual probability. Now to reactivate automatic probability, you can go back into edit by clicking over here onto this gear icon and go over to probability and save. Isn't that easy? We do recommend keeping your probabilities on automatic, but the manual option is there for you whenever you need it. Now, that's all for now, Odoers. There's a high probability that I'll see you in the future. So until then, remember, it's Odoo, not Odon. And watch all the other videos. We got spicy content.